Alex Antic, this push for a digital ID announced by Bill Shorten, we're told it will happen at the end of the year. I remember that COVID app that came out from the Morrison government, cost us about 70 million, had about two men and a dog take it up. It was an absolute shocker. I'm not so confident the government's going to get this right. I'm worried about my information. What do you think? Yeah, well, Peter, you should be worried about your information. We all should be. I mean, there's a number of different layers to this. The first one is um, this Digital ID Act that was passed earlier in the year is setting up the framework for a digital surveillance state in this country. And it wasn't that long ago in the 80s when people were marching the streets about the Australia card. Well, we've now seen the Australia card in digital form on steroids roll out. And many of us who opposed that, that bill going through um, made the, the warning that this would become mandatory very quickly. I mean, the Act says it doesn't, but this will creep into our everyday lives. And within months, the Albanese government is rolling out a new version of the same thing. So that's the first thing. People being tracked is the first thing. The second thing I'd say is I have no confidence in governments being able to keep our data safe. I mean, the private sector struggles enough. We've seen numerous data breaches over the private sector. Mm. And we've seen numerous on Parliament House hacks and all sorts. So this is a massive honeypot of data that will be built for hackers who will just go to this like moths to a flame. This is a really bad idea. That's why uh, I've introduced a digital ID repeal bill into the Senate and it's been co-sponsored by a number of other senators, Canavan Babbitt and others, uh, and Roberts and Hanson, I should say. Uh, and uh, th this is bad law and we are walking into a digital surveillance state trap in this country. Mm. Um, James, the, the federal government's released its new federal science objectives. This is for the curriculum. They want science to have, quote, an Indigenous outlook. What the heck does this mean? Yeah, good question. It sets a, a very dangerous precedent here because AUKUS, as we know, was designed to be uh, an intelligence and defence strategy with the US and the UK and Australia to protect the Indo-Pacific region. Got nothing to do with Indigenous people. Um, I don't think they've got any expertise uh, in defence, unless they've been raised up through the ranks. Uh, they've, they've worked their way through the ranks in that department. But apart from that, we shouldn't be consulting with anybody apart from those within defence. Certainly not Indigenous people. They've got uh, no say in this. Again, it's Labor trying to slowly but surely implement that voice to Parliament they, they thought they were going to get through last October. Not wrong. Hey, Alex, uh, I suspect you're getting the same messages I'm getting from religious and, and faith leaders. Really angry today that the government has now dropped their election promise to protect religious freedom. I mean, this goes all the way back to Malcolm Turnbull in the same-sex marriage debate saying, uh, if there is a change to same-sex marriage in this country, we would protect from discrimination anyone who disagrees as, as a matter of faith the laws weren't done by him or Scott Morrison, and now neither by the Prime Minister. Yeah, look, absolutely. And people are worried. The, the faith-based communities are, are concerned by this, and, and they should be. This has been a bizarre episode where uh, the Albanese government uh, started talking about this bill and it wouldn't talk to its own caucus about it. Then um, it, I think, had non-disclosure agreements and it wouldn't allow the bill to be discussed with faith leaders, and then it pulled it. Um, and we hear it's reported from the Prime Minister today that one of the reasons why it was pulled was he didn't want to have a divisive debate about religion just sort of less than 12 months after he was prepared to have a massive divisive debate over the voice referendum. So it doesn't make any sense. Uh, what, what, when you look at it through the prism, though, of um, this, this kind of push towards uh, pushing against churches and faith-based organisations, we see that through... Um, the proposed amendments to the uh, uh, Sexual Discrimination Act to remove the ability for schools to hire and fire based on, on people's views in their own institutions, it becomes more clear. But the Albanese government has to sort this out quickly because uh, there is trouble in the ranks with the faith communities, I can tell you.